Hi everyone, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add online store into your Wix website. Now it's really easy to create an online store with Wix if you're trying to create it from scratch. All you have to do is click on this create a new site option, choose online store as your categories and you're good to go. But how do you add online store into pre-existing website? Now. If you already have a website and let's say you're going to use that website as the base of your online store, let's say that your business has expanded and you now have a store of your own, you could add an online store to a website on Wix that wasn't an online store originally by going to the add element section. And then amongst all of these options right here, you're going to be able to find this store option. And all you have to do is click add to site. And once it's finished uploading, you'll be able to use all of the online store managers on Wix. All right, now that we've finished adding the store into our website, you can see that you can add product into your store. You can define the shipping regions. You can also connect payment method, etc. Now let's take a look at how you can add your product. Go ahead and click add a product. And here on the product management options, you'll be able to see all of the product that Wix website created for your store. So all of these products are pre-existing product. Obviously, they are not a real product. So you can just either delete all of them and add your own new product. Or you can also alter it by clicking on the product that you will want to customize and then change the whole identity of this product into your own product. So here I am in the product editing section and you can see that we've got the images of the product, the basic info such as the name of the product, the description, additional info section, pricing, etc, etc. Now, every single thing on this product is definitely customizable. So if you like, you can just change all of the product that is pre-existing on the Wix website store. But if you don't want to, you can always start by adding your own product by clicking on this add new product buttons. Now, when you're trying to sell through Wix website, they also will give you the chance to sell not just physical product, but digital product as well. So you can sell your ebook, your journal templates, maybe any printable templates. You can also sell it on your Wix website. Just make sure you choose the right type of product before you continue adding all of the details of your product. Now let's try and take a look at how the physical product editor looks like. I'm going to go ahead and click on the physical product and basically it's going to look similar if not entirely the same with the product editor that we've just seen earlier because the product that we tried to add it earlier is a physical product so i think it's going to look the same we've got the images and the video sections we've got the basic info the pricing the custom text field product options inventory and shipping subscription etc now let's see on how the uh, digital products looks like all right so right off the bat for the uh, digital product we've got the upload file sections we still got the product info the images and videos this one's come up first on the physical product we've got the pricing and we still got the inventory and shipping, mainly just to track the inventory, not for the shipping. So you got the idea. All you have to do is fill in all of the information and the details and then click on save to add your product. Now, besides adding product, you also have the options to create categories for your product. Let's say if you are selling maybe clothes or anything that needs to be categorized, for example, autumn clothes, winter clothes, etc. You can create a category to make it easier for your customers to search for those products. So currently I have 12 products pre-made by Wix website. 
and let's say that I'm going to create a catalog or a category so all I have to do is click on this plus signs right here or go to this new category button either way it works just the same and then I can just add the category info by inserting the title as well as adding the image and then add my product into the category that I just made and then click on save and now I got the category created into my website. Now, if you take a look at the navigation bar on the left side of your screen, you will also find the customers and leads options. Let's say that you will want to keep on track on the customers that will do repeating orders on your website. You can actually add their contacts and save it and it's going to appear on the contact sections of your website. So let's say you want to create a new contact. You can just go ahead and click on create new or maybe you will want to use it for the, your marketing campaigns later on. You can also do that. You can just save their contacts and then send maybe some newsletter or some email campaigns through Wix website. Now, when you're trying to add a new contacts, it's very basic. All you have to do is add their name, the emails, the phone, address if you want, add labels if you need to. And then if you have a specific employee that you want to assign that customers to, you can also assign it to your employee. And you can also add loyalty program or referral program. And you can also take a look at the abandoned cart. So let's say that your customers take a look at your website. They already put some product into their cart and maybe they have checked out, but they haven't created their payments yet. And it ended up reducing the amount of inventory that you have. And it ended up making you lose those sales. You can also turn on an automation so that you'll be able to know on the amount of abandoned cards your customers have and you can either send a reminder for them etc you could just setting it on this automation setting and as for the payment you can also connect and set up payment if you'd like so you can maybe set up your credit card etc and then if you would like to request a payment, you can create a payment link as well as creating invoices so that your customers know how many products they're buying and the amount of money they will have to pay you. Sometimes it's going to be very helpful if your customer is a corporate and they will maybe need the invoices to reimburse their buying from your website. Creating invoices is going to be very helpful for that kind of cases. You'll also be able to track on the sales that you've made on this website. You can take a look at the amount of order, the amount of gift card sales, or you can just straightly go to all payment and then over there you'll be able to see on all of the payment your customers has made on your website. Now, once you've settled with the payment, the product, etc you also will be able to expand your sales channel if you go to the catalog options on the navigation bar you'll be able to find this sales channels options through here you can connect your wix website into other sites such as facebook shop instagram shop or tiktok catalog ebay even google merchant solutions it's going to be very helpful for you to expand the customers range that you have and it also going to make your website or your online store even more well known and last but not least you'll be able to use settings on the layout of how you will want your product to be seen by your customer so if you click on settings on your product page you'll be able to play around with the layout the text and the overall design etc all i have to do is settings everything to make it look as interesting as possible so that it's going to attract customers to be interested into your product and that's basically it that is how you can add 
a store into your Wix website, whether you create it from scratch or if you're going to insert it into a pre-existing website. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.